Hello everyone, today we are doing one of my most requested videos ever. <laughs> AHL players versus NHL players. So the rules for this one are simple. Team NHL players must have more NHL games than AHL games, and AHL players must have more AHL games than NHL games. Team AHL comes in with a mix of career AHLers and young rookies just waiting for their chance. The biggest thing is they're offensively talented and fast. Defense has the same story, and they're overloaded with speedy offensive defensemen. Jari and Koro are the goaltenders. Team NHL now, they're slow and physical and mostly defensive minded on offense. Defense is better than the offense, but again, slow and all defensive. In net, a couple of struggling backups are the goalies. Here we go everybody, it's the Hawaii's minor best are AHLers versus the Cleveland garbage, the NHL team. The minor's best are in these red and white jerseys. And starting for them is Jari. Well, in these green and pink disgusting looking jerseys is the NHLers and the Hamburglar is starting for them. Garrison has it now. He's ordered a 2-2. His shot gets blocked. Goaltender's down. Another opportunity. Good save for Jari. In the corner now. Goes. Cuts to the top of the circle. In front. Puck still loose. Tries to pound at home. And Hammond makes the save. Sue has it now at the hash marks. And he gets tossed around like a rag doll. That carries it into the zone now. And he gets sat down. Team NHL playing very physical tonight. They're battling for the puck in the corner. And it looks like Bex has it, but he gets hooked. And we now have a penalty coming against the NHLers. Hooking Jay McClement is going to go to the box for two minutes. They're battling for the puck. He loses the puck battle. And to try to get it back, he hooks him. Goes right through the body with the stick. And he sits for two minutes. 153 left in the period. So there will be some time left over in the second. They win the opening face off of the power play. Puts it right on net. Glove save. Try to get something going fast here. 141. Face off. Same spot. NHLers win it this time and they get it all the way down. He can't catch it so it goes down. Killing time now. Comes out with it. Skates past one defender. Oh, it's one on one already. Burst to speed there. That's the speed I was talking about when going over the rosters. He's pinned in the corner now. Larson has it in front. Oh, this one just goes wide. No, it trickles in. The puck just trickles in. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it was an own goal. We'll have to see on a replay here. There he is. The initial shot. Puck still loose in front of him, and it just goes right through him. On the replay here, we see puck sitting stick. Roman Polak has it, but he pushes it back towards his goalie. Chris Terry now with the stick on it, but it goes off Andrew Hammond's stick, and it goes into the net. So I guess we do have an own goal. Back to the D now. They're cycling it very well. He walks in for a shot at the slot. And it just goes wide of the net. Has it bucked now. And oh, another huge hit there for Team NHL. They keep throwing the body around. Still can't get the puck out though. And they finally, Jordan 2-2. Got it out. 2-2 with it. 2-2 looking for his D. They're not there though. They were changing in front. This one goes wide of the net. Another opportunity still in front of the net. But the AHLs clear it now. Come across the zone. And he's going to try to dump it down. Fails to dump it down. And the NHLers are going to get it out. Dmitry Kulikov with it. His first season in Buffalo right now after being acquired from the Florida Panthers. Cycling very well down low. Jordan 2-2. Back to the D. Over. Kulikov gets it back. Kind of runs a pick play there. In the slot. Takes a shot. And it goes wide to the net. O'Reilly now. Oh, O'Reilly almost puts it on his own net. And they're finally able to get it out. Jordan Wheel with it now. Ten minutes to go, officially the halfway part of the game as he gets taken down. Zadorov now is going to try to get it out over to 2-2. Doing too many passes in their own zone, and there you go, they give it up again. Pass over now, O'Reilly has it. O'Reilly for a one-timer, and he was tangled up in front of the net. And then finally, the NHLers get it out. Here they go in, two on two. Over, puts a shot on net. Easy save there for the Hamburglar. Here they come to the zone again. Team AHL controlling this game since the beginning of the first. Back now. In front to Cole Schneider who's in the slot. And he snipes it in the top corner to put the AHLers up 2-0. Pucks loose in front. They're battling for it. Another hook here. Another penalty coming to the NHLers. They're already down 2-0. Almost halfway through the third. You cannot be taking penalties like that. Two minutes now. Who's going to the box? Who made the mistake? It was Chris Vandeveld going to the box. 
away from your own net. You just cannot do a penalty like that this late in the game. This is going to be a huge power play for Team NHLers and a huge kill for Team NHL. First power play line out there and they lose the faceoff and Jack Skilly has it. Skilly's messing around with it, wasting time, goes back to his D. A little mess up on there, but they still have it. Garrison now gets it out and they waste 30 seconds there. Good kill. AHLers now getting it out. Chris Terry up with it now. Terry over to Wheel. Wheel goes into the corner. Two men on him. He loses it. He still has control around the net. Kulikov has it. Kulikov loses it in front. Opportunity there for a one-timer in the slot, but gets denied. 45 seconds left in the power play. 12 minutes left in the game. Face-off win here for the AHLers. Defense has it. Twist a shot on net. A glove save there. Probably not the best opportunity there. No screen in front of him. Kind of like saw the puck the whole way. Got the power play. You got to use that time better. 31 seconds left now. Face off is won by the NHLers and they get it out and that should do it for this power play. Great kill for them. Really did not even allow that many good chances. Maybe only one scoring chance. Power play is over. Good kill for them. And here they come back into the zone now. Team HL puts it around the net. And Team HL is going to get it out. Oh, they don't. They turn it over. This shot gets blocked. And this time they can get it out. Roman Polak gets it out. Team HL around the corner now. Keeps on the puck. Oh, he gets hooked now. Lots of hooking calls in this game. But now Team NHL with a very good opportunity here. They're going to go to the power play. Seven minutes left. And they're down two. This is a bad penalty for Michael Chaput to take. Named my dog after you. Oh, that's cute. But Chaput is a weird name for a dog. Anyways, back to the action. 7-11 left in the third. Power play for the NHL. Goes back to Garrison. Jay McClement, more of a grinder, not a power play type. Jari makes the cover. Face off in the offensive zone. And Team NHL wins it. Back to Garrison. Garrison loads up, puts it on that. Puck's still loose in front. McLeod has it. Over to 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two shot gets hit off the glove and goes behind the net. Team NHL keeping control. Shot from the point. Doesn't go anywhere. Oh, and this one goes in. Jordan 2-2 two -two scores. The goal goes off his stick. Off the rebound. And it's 2-1. 1-11 left in the game. NHL team needs to do something here. They need to get it out quick. They do win the faceoff, but they turn it right over Terry in front. His shot gets blocked. Another opportunity for NHL team to get it out now. And they're going to give it up again. Ryan has it now. Over to Terry. Glove save. And a whistle with 47 seconds left. Oh, they got to change lines out here. That was awful. You need a goal. You're down late. And you can't even get out of your own zone. They win this faceoff. Jordan 2-2. The goal scorer in this game for them has it. And they get it out. Coming to the zone. 40 seconds left. Tries to do a pass back to the defense. And it goes all the way down the ice. They were not there. Back to 2-2 as he crosses the center ice line with 30 seconds left. They pull their goalie. They're going with six skaters. Oh, another huge hit there to gain control of the puck. Jordan 2-2 with it now. Back to the D. 2-2 again. Back to the D. They go back and forth. They got to do something here. Rowan Polak takes a shot. Oh, it's behind him. Oh, did that go in? That could have gone in, but I think he stopped it from going in. Oh, we need to see a replay of this. I think Chris Vandeveld stopped this puck from going in. On the replay here, let's see. He clearly has the Hamburglar beat, or I'm sorry, Tristan Jari beat. It's behind him, but let's see if this puck going to go in. Um, Let's see. Hits off the post, almost across the line, but he kicks it out. Oh, that's a hard one to say. I think the post, though, it was not going to go in. Maybe if it kept sliding to the left, it would have gone in. That's a tough one. That could have been the goal right there. 11 seconds left now. The most important faceoff of the game is won by the AHLers. They get it out. And they're not going to go for the empty net. They're going to waste some time here. LeBanc has it now. He goes for the empty net. It misses, but he was across the red line. And that is it. Team NHL takes the game. They are victorious, winning 2-1. to one. Now, I decided to test out what would happen if I put the AHL team in for a full NHL season and vice versa. The AHL team did not have success finishing last in the NHL with 39 points. Terry led the team in goals and was the only 20 goal scorer, while Derek Ryan would lead in assists and points. 
things would go much better for the NHL team as they were second in the NHL winning their division and conference. 2-2 would lead the team in goals while Chris Vandeveld led in assist and points. The NHL team would also walk easily through the playoffs and win the Calder Cup. Thanks for watching me, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook, check out the subreddit, watch my last video where I did a league of only Canadians, and also go follow me on Twitch, we're doing three streams a week there, and also check out my second channel if you miss one of the streams. Again, thanks for watching, bye. Bye.